YouTube, what's going on? Nick here, and I want to talk about Ray Donovan, the movie that premiered on Showtime um, uh, this past Friday. If you haven't watched the seven previous seasons of Ray Donovan, then this video won't make a lick of sense to you. If you have, uh, I know some people was a uh, were asking if I was going to be covering this, uh, and for anyone new here, uh, wanted to just, just sort of see some uh, you know outside opinions on it, um, well, you landed on the right spot. So I'm not going to go into full detail and full breakdowns of this because there's really not a lot to talk about, unfortunately, here. Um, there will be some spoilers. Um, you know, First and foremost, I think it was an okay movie. I was expecting more. I knew Mickey was going to die, figuring it was going to be by the hands of Ray, and uh, it, shocker, it wasn't. Uh, it was done by the hands of his daughter, Bridget, who you know walks into the hotel room, uh, even though the door is wide open, and just pulls the trigger and lays him out. And I want to talk about that scene just for a mo moment because I think it was a scene in the movie that seemed to be the most um, heartfelt and emotional between Ray and and Mickey. You know, Ray's on the on the on the bed bleeding out for the most part, and at least bleeding to the point. You know, he's got a bullet in, in him. Um, we'll talk about that in a second too. Uh, but you know, Mickey is just trying to you know keep Ray alive and 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 at least you know conscious enough and. Um, you know, at the same time, I'm like, dude, he needs to get to a hospital. Are you just waiting for him to, to bleed out, Mick, or or what? Um, and, you know, for the sake of what, what Mick does, you know, tries to just make him laugh. And then when he gets blown away, you know, Bridget really uh, just, she knew what she was doing, but at the same time, she didn't know what she was doing because she robbed her father, uh, robbed Ray of him being able to say goodbye and to say that he loves him as as he tells um uh amiot uh, the therapist uh over the phone and again you know i kind of wanted to see that because I, I felt like he's been wanting to say it for so long now and just really never you know got the chance before ray was uh before um uh sorry mickey was was put away and and again it, Ray gets taken away by the police because he gives up his, you know, area and what's happened. And, um, you know, he kind of slips when he's talking on the phone about, you know, yeah, even if I wasn't the one who did it and it's like, you're not going to give up your, your data for that. Right. Um, and of course he never would. Um, and, and again, just, it's sort of like, well, what happens now? What happens after that? Like, you know, What's Bunch? Bunch is probably going to go off with his with his wife and try to reconnect there and, and establish a family. But, you know, I'm not sure what Terry is going to do. Not sure what Bridget's going to do. Um, you know, and again, I guess that's really not uh, super inclusive to the show that's entitled Ray Donovan because, you know, Ray Donovan is in jail now. Uh, and who knows? I, I think the, the show could be revisited somewhere down the line, but I, I don't know uh, if anyone... Uh, any, any of the cast will actually want to do that or, you know, what the story will really be. You know, it's it's sort of like at, at some point that the drama and, and everything's got to stop. And, and the drama was all because of Mick. You know, Ray's not going to go back to his old life doing what he does. Uh, you know, Daryl is out of the picture. He can never come back. So you've already tied up that end. And there's some other loose ends. But at the same time, the whole thing that we were really expecting to see was Mick get shot and killed. By Ray, except it wasn't Ray; it was Bridget. So, you know, now what? Um, again, I, I for what it's worth, it was okay. You know, I, I was expecting a little bit more to happen in the present day. Um, even though I also didn't expect Molly to shoot Ray, uh, and Ray was just again like hesitant, like he always is, and uh, and saying what's really on his mind. And you know, he's get shot because of it. And Molly, you know, believes his father over, over Ray, even though, you know, yeah, Ray pulled the trigger, but at the same time, you know, mixed really responsible for, for a lot of things uh, that's happened in the course of their lives. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a little bit of an icky thing. I think, you know, story wise, um, you know, and I, I really enjoyed, uh, you know, Ray Donovan overall. Um, I've incorporated, uh, his uh, notorious uh, catchphrases like "sure" and "I gotta go" 
uh, a lot in my own personal life just because it's hilarious. And of course, talking Southie um, is hilarious too. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I, uh, I don't know. I, if I really had to give it a rating, I would maybe give it like a five or six out of 10, unfortunately. Um, you know, maybe I'll stick with the six out of 10. Um, you know, I'm glad they tied some things up and it ended the way it did. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. I'm really curious to see what, uh, any viewers out there think about this. Um, I'm not really going to go on for a long time in this video just because again, there's really not too, too much to talk about. I think there's probably more to talk about in the comments. Uh, once people actually, you know, say what they're thinking. Um, I did do some other checking out as far as, um, ratings go. Uh, surprisingly on, uh, IMDB, uh, the average user score is 7.2 with the, the higher peaks being, uh, you know, eights, sevens and tens. Apparently, uh, I don't think this movie is perfect by any means. I think there are problems with it. Um, yeah, you know, it is kind of cool. It was to see some of the flashbacks. Um, you know, we, we already knew that his father was a piece of shit. And that there were problems with the priest and that, you know, his, his sister, you know, he died tragically, you know, we've been, we've known that for years now. Uh, I don't really think there's any reason to rehash on it. Um, you know, to see how he first got set up, Mickey, Mickey, that is, um, and going to jail in the, in the, in the bar scene, um, with Sean Walker and Ray, um, and Ray's a whore of a girlfriend, um, as uh, Abby put it, um, that was kind of cool. I will say too, but, um, uh, to see uh, a younger Abby, but anyway, yeah, again, problems, flaws, um, as far as Rotten Tomatoes goes, uh, you know, that was a little bit more of a harsher critic. Uh, critics give it a 71% and, uh, the audience has given it a 49%. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the 7.2 is a more fitting rating for this? Uh, or do you think uh, the 49, so basically like a 5 out of 10, maybe 6 out of 10 uh, you know, rating is right where this movie fits? Uh, again, not too sure they're going to come back and do anything else with this down the road. Uh, I would really be surprised if they did. I think they should just sort of leave it um, as is and just let uh, Liv Schreiber... Um, you know, move on to something else and uh, let Ray Donovan, um, you know, enjoy his time uh, thinking about his life um, in handcuffs. But again, maybe he comes out. Who knows? Um, we shall see. So uh, that's going to be it for me here in the show. So uh, until next time, I will catch everyone on the next video. Cheers. Everybody.